I have come to cheer y'all up about the state of politics in this great nation. I know you think that, that uh, it is looking dark and gloomy. Cheer up, it could always be worse. You could be living in Texas. Hi, I'm Janice. Stop, you're not supposed to clap. I'm Janice Engel, and I'm the director of Raise Hell, The Life and Times of Molly Ivins, which is having its world premiere at the 2019 Sundance Film Festival in documentary feature. Our next guest is one of the uh, most outspoken political columnists in the nation. A three-time finalist for the Pulitzer Prize. Molly Ivins not only can, but usually does say pretty much whatever she wants. What do you make of uh, Dan Quayle? I must tell you honestly, I traveled with him during the 88 campaign. I found him dumber than advertised. <laughs> if you put that man's brain in a bumblebee, it would fly backwards. Six years ago, James Egan, my producing partner, approached me about making a film about Molly Ivins because there had never been anything done on her, and we couldn't believe it. Three weeks later, I was on a plane to Texas to meet my other producing partner, Carlisle Vandervoort. Here she comes. And we hit the road running. Look at this pretty countryside. We got a flat. We got to replace the tar. And we took this big ass road trip, which took us out to West Texas, where we crossed the Rio Grande. I mean, we were in the middle of the Rio Grande shooting. One side was Mexico, the other side was Texas. And we couldn't have had more fun, as Molly would say, than the law allowed. People let us sleep on their floor, sleep on their couches, and let us interview them, let us into their lives to tell us about Molly. Are you beloved by the folks who read the paper or is it split right down the middle? Some hate you, some love you, how does that go? They do polls every year to find out who's the best liked and most hated columnist in, mm -hmm. in the area. I'm always both. <laughs> Molly Ivins was a six foot tall, red haired Texan who spoke truth to power, gave voice to those that didn't have one. She was a first amendment warrior and she was Absolutely hilariously funny. George W., uh, whom we call either W by his middle name, D U B Y A W, um, <laughs> or Shrub the Little Bush. <laughs> she went after everyone in politics, whether you were on the right or the left, it didn't matter to Molly. There's only three possible reactions to most politics you can laugh, you can cry, or you can throw up. <laughs> Crying and throwing up are bad for you, you might as well laugh. And I think the times that we're living in right now, where there is a direct threat to our First Amendment, to freedom of speech, freedom of the press, Molly Ivan's voice is needed now more than ever. I mean, for us, making a documentary about the late, great Molly Ivins, she was incredibly prescient, and she is incredibly relevant. See you soon. Bye.